actually like really lean. I'm like, I haven't, haven't been doing any workout really. And I'm like, damn, yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. like I've had so much going on in my life, but I really truly believe it's the food I'm putting in my body that's making me clear headed. This episode, you know, I wanted to touch on something that we all deal with in so many different ways and that's fear. All right guys, so here we are. It's the end of the seventh week for Jeff Blue, the full meal bib lifestyle challenge. And we just brought Jeff the three bowls for the rest of this week. He's been going six days. Uh, the other ones are in the house. It's a little warm out here today. Yeah, so we, we, we want to keep them inside the fridge. Keep it nice and fresh, but we do want you guys to see. We've got Cannon here, yeah. the veteran of the house. He wants to hang out and be on camera as well. It's so beautiful out here today, Jeff. Um, so in this episode, don't mind the helicopters flying by because uh, they want to see what's going on as well. How you feeling today? I feel great. Um, I just because of my life right now, I haven't had much time to sleep, mm -hmm. um, but I still feel really awake and organized and focused. Ironically, like I'm had so much going on in my life, but I really truly believe it's the food I'm putting in my body that's making me clear headed. That's great to hear. To function. You know, uh, I did see you last week, but just looking at you today. I can see a huge difference in your face, your upper body. You're looking I much leaner. It. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to see. I can't wait to see the before and afters, you know, uh, and show all of you guys out there the transformation he's gotten just in eight weeks. And again, you've barely been able to do any exercise. Barely. Like once a week max. We were hoping to try to get some bib stick in there, but we really didn't get much time for that either. Right. But it doesn't really matter because the food is what's really doing all the work. You know, uh, on this episode, you know, I wanted to touch on something that we all deal with in so many different ways, and that's fear. You know, and fear, it just comes in so many different ways for people in our minds. Um, let's just touch on that a little bit. So once I'm done here with you, we've got one more week, you know. Do you have fears of going back to old habits? Do you think about, are you gonna continue this bib lifestyle? Has it I, I such have. an impact um, on I you? I was just thinking about that today. Um, I was already preparing because I'm, I'm in my routine of where I go to get food. Um, I shop at Costco a lot, we were discussing, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of organic food. They have a lot yeah. of organic, uh, fruits and vegetables, and so I don't think that's gonna be difficult. But I mean, uh, I love the way you chop everything up. My big thing is I want to know. Just take how, this out of the sun. Right, the grains and what was the my favorite? Pharaoh. 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 No, I can never remember that. Yeah. Um, just think of the Egyptian yes. pharaohs. So uh, you know, really making that, and we're gonna discuss how to do that. Uh, but no, I don't really have too much fear uh, other than. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go back to. Oh my God, I'm starving, and there's something out there. I mean, literally. Uh, I, I can go now like, you know, 12 hours easy. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna wait to get home and have the, you know, the salad bowls and everything like that. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how I, I do it on my own, but yeah. I'm excited for that as well. You know, and before we started, you know, um, we were gonna start a little bit earlier than we did in December, but we waited till January because, you know, Jeff's an active man. He's a popular man and he gets invited to a lot of places. So you, right. you live a very active lifestyle. You go out in the evenings. You like to have a good nightlife. Um, how has this impacted your thoughts on that nightlife? Do you, do you see yourself not wanting to have as much excitement in that nightlife, sort of say, with drinking and um, entertaining? A, a like little that, bit. Or? Sorry about the sun. Um, That's but, all right. Uh, I haven't had the need to go out as much. I don't know what really that has to do with it, um, but I, I don't have a problem. I mean, I could still eat uh, the meals and I can go out and I can still drink and everything like that. I don't, I don't do it as much. Yeah. I, I don't feel like it. Yeah. Um, That's what I was curious to see how that impacted that. Yeah, it, um, it's impacted a little bit. Um, and over the last few days, you could really feel a difference. I see it in the mirror when I was taking a shower last night. I was like, I actually like really lean. I'm like, I haven't, haven't been doing any workout really. And I'm like, damn, yeah, I feel. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see it. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, and then, hey, hey, Cannon. I mean, Maverick, he's trying to get hey, into those salad here. bowls Maverick. over there. Good boy, come here. Yeah. Um, you know, I want to touch back on that fear again. Have you, have you had any other? major fears in your life, Jeff, that, that you were, you know, that you could think about ones? or anything or? 
Um, I mean, there's a ton of them. I'm, I'm going through a very difficult time with my family and whatnot, and, uh, but I've been able to manage everything in my life right now. Yeah, um, yeah. And I don't want to get too deep, you know, I'm yeah. sorry if I'm touching too deep. No, I mean, just, I, but um, I, I feel like I'm handling everything and I do attribute quite a bit of that to my diet right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And fear is normal, you know what I mean? For all of you out there, it's like fear, that's everybody has fear about something, you yeah. know, more than one thing. I know I do as well, you know, and I know I didn't tell Jeff what this topic was going to be, but I just wanted to bring it up and see how he reacted and see what he could share with us for all of you guys out there. Yeah, no, I mean, I think we all have fear. Um, you know, careers, love life, uh, relationships, family, friends. Um, you know, especially in my life, every day is very, very different. Mm -hmm. Every day is a new challenge. Uh, a million different things going on. Um, so I have a variety of businesses, you know, and, yeah. and uh, everything I'm going through. So it's really just about balance. And I think that really comes down to a balanced diet you know, and something that is keeping you balanced. Keeping and I feel like... Uh, the Bib lifestyle really has done that for me. That's what I'm trying to get to, to see yeah. if, see how, so that people out there, you can understand and, and, and hear it, you know, that when you ha live a healthy lifestyle with food, it's going to make you feel better and it's going to make you want to just be better all around and make better choices. And you're going to be more aware. You're going to be more alert. Your senses, your, your thoughts are just going to be clearer. And they're going to be better thoughts because right. you want to be better. Um, what I did find is I've got so much going on all the time. And I'm like, oh, my God, where did I put this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, you put it right there. And I did not have that ability before. Your memory. Like, run, yeah, my memory has gotten better. Your senses. That's great to hear because in the research that I've done, for the root powders, for the seeds, for the food, it does talk about how it will enhance your memory. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so that's just evidence right there of another great change that's happened for Jeff. Absolutely. I love to hear it, I love to hear it. It's all about growth, it's all about getting better, and it's all about healing the body with food. That's what the Bib lifestyle is, to be your best body where we eat to heal. Well, Jeff, I want to thank you again. Absolutely. For this little bit of time that we have here. It's a beautiful day out there. I hope you it's guys gorgeous, are out there. It's gorgeous, and I just feel that sun. Oh, but it's, it's hard to look at this, it, this way. It's right in my eyes. It is, it is. Um, you know, we've got one more week. Next week is number eight, and, you know, we are going to cut the portion of food down for Jeff mm. drastically. We're going to take out a whole meal. We're going to eliminate the salad, the grains, and the beans. Um, and just pack him with a lot of nutrients in smaller portions so that he gets a really good effect on the body for this last, excuse me, for this last week. Wow. Um, what are your thoughts on that? What are your fears on that? Well, I'm hungry all the time, to be honest with you. Um, even with what you're giving me, I'm hungry. So I've been eating a lot of nuts, mm -hmm. um, the nuts and, and the dried berries. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried about that, how, how I'll react. Uh, We'll see, though. You know, am I not allowed to eat the nuts then? Uh, yeah, you'll be still be able to have the trail mix. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we're just eliminating that salad bowl, the grains and the beans. And What's the uh, purpose of that? Well, we're just giving you a lower caloric intake so that the body can just shred off a few of the extra pounds. You know, it's gotcha. healthy to take off two pounds a week. Anything more is pretty much unhealthy. Uh, so, but the way the body's... We've basically reprogrammed Jeff's body over the last couple of weeks. Your body is the most advanced computer system in the world. There's nothing else more smarter than the human body. And when you follow a certain eating lifestyle where you eat the same things at the same time of the day and they have the nutritional value, the body's going to recognize that. And so then it begins to eliminate all the waste that it doesn't need. And that's how we lose weight. It's not by hours of cardio. It won't do it. It's, it's all about putting the foods inside the body that have the reaction. And so this last week, I'm hoping that Jeff can drop maybe two to four pounds. Instead of just the two, I'm hoping that he can maybe well, I think I'll drop four. it. I've, I've, um, I've evened out in like the 180, two, 184 category, which is about 10 pounds lighter than I was. Okay. Um, but I know also I could, I, I've been eating because I don't want to, yeah, I've been eating a lot of nuts. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, you're not going to lose any muscle. 
Right. You're not going to lose any muscle. The only way the body starts eating muscle is if you don't have food in there. You know, if you don't have any fat, then it's going to start eating muscle. But there's also a new, be careful for all of you out there, there is a new shot for losing weight. What it does, oh, it yeah. eats it's your really muscle. Bad. It eats your muscles, so stay away from that. But anyways, that's all the time we have here with Jeff Blue today. Guys, we want to thank you for, for watching, tuning in. Hit that like button. Share this with your friends and family, as Jeff's going to do. And as we say, Jeff, always remember, be your best body. We'll see you next time.